Nate McKenzie and dropping back into the tropics this morning. Now want to take the time to note that the coverage is going to be heavily focused on Hurricane Dorian, this impressive, devastating storm category five all morning long and all week long here on News 13 this morning. But on top of that, this is just the time of year hurricane season, especially for the Atlantic. It peaks by this week in September 10th, early next week. That is the peak of hurricane season. While the focus is on hurricane Dorian. There's actually three other systems going on in the Atlantic Ocean that we're keeping our eye on at this moment. So let Dorian be just a reminder that this is the time of year. Actually, the second hurricane season even starts to just stay prepared and stay alert. It all starts with that low level disturbance, those warm, warm waters and weak winds aloft. Now, not to Dorian's favor, not to the Bahamas favor whatsoever, as this system has pretty much stalled out overnight, dumping heavy rain. You're talking up to 30 30 inches for some isolated spots and you have wind gusts at 165 miles per hour. This incredibly slow moving system moving only one mile an hour. If you can fathom that the immense damage catastrophic scenarios that are going on all over the northern Bahamas for the people that call this place home. But when we talked about those ingredients that a hurricane needs and even something that just starts to develop disorganized in the Atlantic Ocean, really this isn't stopping this system from continuing to strengthen and now the Bahamas making direct landfall in the northern Bahamas yesterday. This is still a category five hurricane. We don't see this weakening until we start to see other ingredients starting to weaken. So you can know if you look at the eye wall focus in here, you can see we are starting to see this northward shift. This stalling out that it's been doing all night long is actually the system trying to shift northward, which is better news for the east coast. Awful news for the Bahamas as they take the brunt end of this. So category five. We do see this starting to weaken to four and you can see the cone of uncertainty still including not just parts of the peninsula, including near entire east coast here. This is why we're all on watch in terms of the panhandle. We see absolutely no impact from the storm, but again, let Dorian just be this reminder and there's other things developing out there right now to just stay prepared, stay alert But for the panhandle looking like some beautiful weather for the work week ahead. On this Labor Day as you head out the door, if you're